Hi everybody, this is Dale Trover from the Bambi Melbourne. This is Buzz Osborne, this is Steve McDonald, and you're burning up on Hell Dog! What's going on everybody, it's your pal Mean Gene from Hellbound, I'm here with the Melvins and uh, Buzz, Dale, Steve, we are at the Great American Music Hall in San Francisco. Great American Music Hall. That's right. <laughs> How, how's, uh, how's the tour going so far? We're only on stop six, but yeah. uh, it's... Uh, Good, at first I want Dale to show off the guns. Show off the guns. Whoa! <laughs> show off the guns. Whoa! 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 Nice. That's right. Yeah. American guns, yeah. here at the American Music Hall. <laughs> Two big American guns. Show them both off. <laughs> the guns. Very impressive. Got to stay in shape back there behind the kit, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh... Sit down. He just sits on, all he does is sit in his ass back there. Yeah. Me and Steven are running around like crazy. So, uh, boy, you guys are on a hell of a run right now. It's through all, it's the rest of the year, is that right? That's right, all through America. Yeah, all through America. All through America. North America, too. In Europe? Canadian America, too. <laughs> Canada. Yeah. Canada. How do you pronounce it? Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> and uh, new record. Uh, yeah. What is that? Uh, the Walk with Love and Death. Is that yeah. right? It. Yeah. Uh, a walk with love and death. I'm telling you, the, it's an interesting concept. This double LP. The first half is, I would say, traditional Melvins, and the second. America. Yep. Second half is. Uh, it's pretty wild stuff on that second traditional half, Melvin, right? Traditional now, made in American Melvins. Now that soundtrack, is that the second half of the yeah. record soundtrack? Yes, it is. How did how'd this all come about? Uh, we decided to make it, yeah. and then we did. <laughs> That's how it came about. Now it's the soundtrack for what, though? A movie. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it could be the soundtrack for your life. Yeah. Movie have a name? A Walk With Love and Death. Yeah. Okay. The whole thing's A Walk With Love and Death, all of it. All right. A walk, not a run. It's a sequel. Sequel. Yeah. All right. To the prequel. Okay. To the prequel. Yes. All right. A sequel to the prequel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was the uh, writing process like this uh, for this double LP? Is it uh, one guy, all guys? How does it come about? A couple, two, three guys here and there. Yeah. We come up with an idea, we figure out how to do it, and then we record it. Right. That's how we did it. And, and it's uh, pretty much it. It's collective then, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, there was a, uh, some collective stuff, definitely. You know. I mean, we all uh, contributed. To it in one form or another. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's your first double LP, is that right? It sure is. Yeah. Now we gotta do a triple LP. Album soundtrack and album soundtrack and uh, um, an instructional disc maybe. Instructional yeah. disc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah album disc soundtrack and instructional disc. That'll be the next one. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Now uh Band's been together almost 35 years now, and this is the first double LP. I mean, what do you guys owe uh, the longevity to your uh, outstanding professional, you know, working group here over all these years? How do you survive, man? I put it down to the fact that we've never done a double album. Is that? So That's what made it able to last this long. So it's pretty much going to be over with now? Yeah. Red Cross never did a double album, did they? Never been prolific enough. <laughs> double album. Next double one. Album. Next one. The next one will be yeah. a double album. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It'll be Tomas. It'll be the German version of Tommy. <laughs> Tomas. <laughs> Tomas, can you hear me? Welcome Tomas to the camp. camp. <laughs> Welcome to the camp. Nice. We're glad. The concentration camp, Tommy. Yeah. 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 Now, on, on, on the current run, how much of the live stuff is off the new uh, LP? Well, we only do a few songs of our live, our new albums because we have so many albums. So we generally do newer material, which means in the last 10 years, as okay. well as some older material. Yeah. About a third of it's uh, um, uh, old material, and, and then two-thirds are newer within the last 10 years, okay. roughly, give or take. All right, so uh, you're breaking everybody in easy, but uh, giving all the old schoolers what they want, right? I don't know what they want. Yeah. We probably yeah. don't give them what they want. <laughs> they, uh, I'm sure you guys have a good idea. Yeah, how do you pick a set list after all those records? Uh, we just try to make songs that sound good together. Yeah? That's it. Not we should try doing this one. That's kind of what we do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we haven't played this one in a while. We could try that, you know. And then some of them always kind of stay. I mean, there's a few that kind of stick around for a while. Yeah, we'll play until we get sick of them and then do something else. And then later, you're not sick of them anymore and you do it again. You know? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Now, uh... We've learned a lot of t songs with us in not even two years. Yeah, I have a couple... 
couple hours where the Melvin songs under my belt, yeah. I think. Yeah, for sure. I kept asking them before we started the rehearsals for this, do we have any idea what songs we'll be playing? No. Not really. <laughs> Now, do you, do you guys vary on tour? Do you vary the set list from no. night to night? Or is it just set in stone and that's what you roll with? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we try to figure out what sounds good for the whole thing rather than like, oh, well, maybe this will work. We'll see once we get out there and play it. Oh, that didn't work. So, I mean, you know, we figure out the whole thing before we go. We're so, not a jukebox, you know? Yeah, yeah. Not at all. You try to just keep it steady, be. nice and steady. We could just hand out a list and the people can just shout out what they want to hear off the list. We have done that before. Yeah. yeah. Nobody, uh, have you? Nobody wants to hear from you. Yeah, I think we've done that before. Like, oh, uh, you know, I mean, we've done some mess around shows like that. Here and there. Yeah. But when people do say Freebird, we all, I've said, you really want to hear an AM radio version of the Almond Brothers? Honestly? <laughs> That's right. Why don't you scream, scream Whipping Post instead? Whipping Post! That That's never happened. happened. Well, i got to tell you, your uh, your rendition of Brown Sugar during Soundcheck was pretty solid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Solid, yeah. 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 Well, uh, I thought it was. It, it had me grooving out there. Yeah. Well, we yeah. like the Stones. Yeah. Who were some of your earlier influences back Stones. in back in the uh, back in the early '80s? Was uh, when you guys were getting this thing off the ground and going? Buzz was. Yeah, uh, Flipper, Venom, Black Flag, Stones. The Stones. Actually, the first time I saw you guys play. Oh well, no, the second time you guys played play a Stones Stone song. song. We did. Did, did you? Yeah. Stones. Have, we've always loved the Stones. All right. Jump it's the truth. Flash. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Probably. Nice. Yeah. It was Jump and Jump. It was. It was Jump and Jump. Flash. And who were some of your earlier influences? The Stones. Um, uh, um, blue chair, we like blue chair too. Uh, 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 Les Banks, uh, Clive Burr, uh, blue chair. Ringo. Ringo, Charlie. Ringo for sure. Ringo for sure. I can't Absolutely. tell you how many drummers I've talked to that said Ringo was their favorite drummer. Right. That's what got them interested in playing drums. Ringo. Oh Ringo. yeah, lots. lots. Clem Burke from Blondie, for sure. Ringo. Ringo. Uh, Ringo. Terry Bozio, Ringo. Ringo really? Yeah. Great. Amazing. Yeah. How about you, Steven? Who are yeah. your influences? Um, my favorite drummer is Ringo. Yeah, influences. Yeah. <laughs> Paul. Influences. Paul. Yeah. Influences. I'm very influenced by Buzz Osborne. Paul. Paul. Oh, uh, bass player? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the regulars. Paul. Bill. Gene. John Paul Jones. Gene. Peter Bill. Tork. Bill. Peter Tork. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Mickey. We're talking about people who actually played bass. <laughs> Peter played bass. I thought, yeah. I Peter. think Peter did. Later Peter records. Tork. Right. Mickey. Mickey so. Collins. Yeah, Mickey Collins. So we're, we're kind of Zeppelin fans here too, then? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Are you a Zeppelin fan? Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. 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 Always like Zeppelin. I was going to ask you, why just Robert Plant? But then I saw the rest of that. Why yeah. just Robert Plant? Yeah. yeah. He ran out of arm. That was an interesting call. He ran out of arm. Yeah. Oh, he's a Plant fan. <laughs> well, as a, as a whole, as yeah, as a whole, yeah, great band. I th I think they're the the greatest band ever. My that's my personal opinion. For each each uh, role in the musicianship and singing and everything, yeah, they're all the greatest. I think. I'm the only Melvin that saw Led Zeppelin live. Really? I gotta brag for a second. Were you on acid? It was not. I was eight years old. But uh, had it been so three years later, I might have been. Been on acid. Where'd you see him at? At the Forum. Oh, okay. On the yeah. tour? tour? Uh, on the Presence Tour. Well, that it was the last rules. L.A., I mean, the last American tour. That rules, yeah. Presence. I would have gone that's to see awesome. them on the next tour, and, I mean, I was. that's right when I was really, died. really into Zeppelin. He died on it. But you know what? He died. You did it. <laughs> What's that? I didn't. Yes, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, my you know, The truth is, you didn't. So there. <laughs> you would have doesn't count. But I, I did, but I you have, didn't. Yeah. But I have seen a double feature of Song Remains the Same, and Spinal Tap. Yeah, how about that, Steven? Ooh. Yeah. Did you see that? Wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but where did that exist? And Man. I saw Spinal Tap live. Yeah, we saw them live. Did you? No. no. Did you? Did you really? Hey, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm the only. So Melvin. no. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Hang on. I'm the only Melvin who's ever jammed with Spinal Tap. Have you? Oh, no. But I'm still alive, so no. <laughs> wow. No. Who? Uh, uh. I played in the bass orchestra. We did. Uh, I, I played in uh, on Big Bottom once. Did you, you learn the, did you learn the part from uh, uh, Derek Smalls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone showed me. I don't remember. Yeah, maybe Derek Smalls. Derek Smalls. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, this is going to bring me to an interesting question I sometimes like to ask. Uh, Derek Smalls? No, 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 not about Derek Smalls. Uh, if you could be in any other band at any other time, who would it be with, and what would you want to do in the band? Uh, um, I want to be Elvis Presley. <laughs> So, are you an Elvis fan? Yeah, okay, of course. Right. Elvis for a day, is that what you said? Wait, so you want to be yeah. Elvis in the Elvis Presley Elvis. band? I want to be Elvis. Now, well, uh, are we uh, skinny, handsome Elvis, or the later Whatever. jumpsuit years? It's all good. Okay. 
Hmm. Anybody? 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 Uh, yeah, Robert Plant. Your shirt no. up. <laughs> yeah, baby, baby, baby. Ah, 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 ah. And, and the hip hugger jeans and the whole nine yards. Right? Jeans. Yeah. yeah. Dick hanging out. Um, uh huh. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Other than yeah. dick hanging out. Though, though they are looking for a drummer, so maybe that would be more. Are they? Are they? <laughs> <laughs> haven't found one yet. Forty years later. Yeah. It's a damn shame, though, right? Yeah. And uh, see. Um. Yeah. Probably Kiss would be Jane. fun. Okay. Yeah, Jane or Ace. Do you, want to be, do you want to be makeup kiss or non makeup kiss? Make makeup kiss. Or I'd be Vinnie Vincent with the onk. <laughs> Keep licking it up. <laughs> yeah. So you wouldn't want to be the acoustic kiss and uh, unplugged and no makeup? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and, uh, well, that was the first rock star I ever. First, I was ace really for. Um, like many Halloween. rockers for Halloween. When you I were was, ace? Yeah, I was Paul because that was an easier makeup job to do. Ah, right. Well, that, that's the spirit. Yeah. I, didn't, well, I wasn't Paul. doing the makeup. It was my, you know. Because he's got the cheesiest makeup and the easiest to do. Right. <laughs> that makes sense. And he, he plays a, a, a ripper bass, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a ripper. Gene played a I have a ripper that Gene played, and then I have an explorer bass, the same explorer that Ace played John in, in 75, yeah. but he played the guitar version. And John Whistle, yeah. So, it's a constant reference. Nice. Nice. And uh, this is a little tougher one here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So it's the stuck in limbo desert island question. You guys got it lucky because he's got to go first. Right. You, got, you got three albums to listen to for pretty much all of eternity. What are your top three albums you'd choose? Uh, Bitches Brew, it's a double album. Uh, Tom Waits, uh, Blue Valentine, and uh, Judy Garland live at Carnegie Hall. Ooh, that's a good one. Wow. It's a double album as well. Wow, you spit those out really quick. That might be a record. Wow, okay. Uh, uh, the, the Monkeys' first record, the Beatles' first record, and uh, uh, the first Osmonds' record. And the Stones' first record. And the Stones' first record. <laughs> so maybe, um, you know, uh, uh, White Album, Exile Main Street, and uh, Kiss Alive. Double records. Boom! All double records. Look at that, man. You guys are on it. So uh, we've got the Great American Tour, and then... At the Great American Music Hall. And we're covering some Canada, and then we're going to yeah, Europe. American tour. Yeah, and yeah, then we're going to Europe and Australia, is that right? That's right. That's right. Wow, so you guys are just jamming for the rest of the year pretty much, right? Worldwide. Worldwide. World tour. World tour. We're, band, we're one of those bands like they used to have ba back in the 80s that do world tours. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's killer, man. And we're going to do a third world tour. We actually are going to yeah. go, we're gonna, um, do the entire, we're going to go around the entire world without returning. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've ever done that. Not just in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> That's what she said! Yeah! All right. And, uh... Are you back in time for the holidays? Are you going to take the holidays off? Or are you going to see what's past November and keep rolling with it? Not me. I'm going to get a job in a coal mine through the whole holidays. Mm -hmm. Coal's coming back. Coal is coming back, right? Yeah, you coal bet. Mine? Yeah. Huh? How about you? Yeah, you yeah. get a job with me in the coal mine. I'm gonna get a whole well, You know, and Christmas time there's always uh, you know easy to get a job because the stores are busy. So in retail, you can mall do retail Santa. work. You can Everybody, do retail. yeah, seasonal work, mall right? Santa, yeah. Seasonal retail. Work. Wow. Right. Yeah. So how about you, Stephen? What was the question? <laughs> what are you gonna do for the holidays? What are you gonna do for the holidays, man? Mine. After this long tour. Dale's working retail. I'm mm. working in the coal mine. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. maybe I'll, I'll, I'll. I think I'll assist Buzz. The coal mine. In the coal mine. Yeah. You'll oh, be the canary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen looks pretty green. Maybe we should get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what, man. I really appreciate everybody's time. Uh, it's me and Gene with Hellbounds, Buzz, Dale, and Steve, and they are out on the Great America Tour. America Tour. Right America now. Tour right now. Get out there and support them. Support live music. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.